uh, yeah. Facebook was real. I don't hear you. You talking? Blah blah blah. Can you hear me now? Yes. Hey. Can you hear me? Hey. <laughs> Shut I up. Did. Shut I up. didn't change anything. Well, it works now. I guess that's all it works. All I know is it works. All right. Well, that's just Woo. great. Are you ready to roll Dinkus? Oh, no. Easter. Yeah, I home the I got to relax the entire day. I got an uh, anxious I, I need to go to all these by hand. I hear they're, I hear they're cheap right now. All right, so let us All begin. things are always cheap, bro. It's amazing. Do you all yeah, have, I heard you all have I your dice and your character sheets? Yeah, we've been ready. All right. So, when last we left off, the Agile Epic Savage Six, made up of five people, had recently defeated Forsooth, obtained the third weapon of the Assassins, and went through a portal, hopefully to find the last one. They ended up in a forest with a dirt road, wet and uh, with deep ruts in it from some type of uh, cart traffic through the mud. And then hearing a cart and a horse coming down from their left, they went back into the forest, hid as best they could, and they were then contacted by what appear to be the parents of Ayn and Zero. And they were, not only that, but Ayn and Zero were contacted mentally. Which is weird because our parents will have some of powers. <laughs> right. So, so when we last okay. left off, you all, well, at least if I remember correctly, the two brothers were moving to yeah. engage yep. their parents. Uh, yep. the, the parents of this timeline, yeah. <laughs> Sean, do you think that we became our own great great grandfathers? <laughs> oh, God. oh my God! Yeah, I had about three episodes. That'd be great. Uh, I don't know, but our parents. Do you think that? I mean, it, they don't own a carriage, so I'm kind of curious to know where the hell we are. So does Garrett right. remain in the trees, or does he go with the brothers? I'll step out. Are you going to go up with them or are you going to lag behind? I will stay behind. Okay. And uh, Waldor and Valmir will as well. I can't Here we have horse and wagon. Hey, Cobb. It's, uh, hang on a minute. I got to do that thing. So maybe I can see it. How, how do we do that again for us? Oh, um. Never mind. You got it? I got it. Yeah, I can see All it. Right. Oh, shit. It's what, what happened. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, God, just let me make a suggestion. Instead of being directly over it, it makes it very difficult to see everything. Why don't you put it at an angle so we can see stuff from the side view? We can still see the square, the grid. We won't have the glare of the light. And uh, we'll be able to see everything a little bit better. Uh, Coming from the left or the right, you know? Well, hold on. such a thing. So, if I can get this to work, that'd be great. If it'll work. Was that thing attached? Oh, ha ha! Cock smoker. All right. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. Nobody likes her. Let's try this. <laughs> works better. That works. Obviously, here's the road. Um, this 
little T section here isn't isn't a thing. So let me replace that with uh oh this one. Emergency, Emergency declared. declared. Japan just got hit with a second wave of the coronavirus. Who did? Yeah, I saw that earlier today. It was just reported by NPR. Okay. So. That was a much better view, Cobb. The, um... Yeah, it's a lot better. About uh, how about a dude here? Where's a regular dude? How about that guy? Or how about that guy? All right. How about oh. that? Um, coming from the carriage, mom and pop. And where would you guys like to go? Oh, we're going we're to agree them. Okay. Yeah. Because something's wrong. So their faces uh, light up as you approach, and then for a brief second, they reach out to embrace. Can you go down with the camera? Yeah. That's fine with it. Okay. Um, Hesitantly, I'll meet their embrace. I go in. Okay. Um, it certainly appears that it is your parents. Do you remember your parents' names? Yeah, it's in my background. Yeah, yeah um, Jassic and... Uh, God damn it. I don't, have it. I don't have it out. I'm pulling it up real quick. It's just a couple tabs away. Flappy and Trunches, wasn't that their names? What'd you say? Totally. This is not what I said to pull up. Um, father is Jose and Anna so Sophia is the mom, if that's how you pronounce it. Josike and... Pronunciation is right. I'm working. <laughs> Anna Sophia. That's an interesting name. Where did you come up with that? Hey, Chris. Uh, uh, this was Sean. Sean. Yeah. yeah. He came up with the names. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, but I'm, I can't seem to find my uh, background here. Crab, just tell us what the names are, will you? I said no, them. You got them. That didn't it sound like the right pronunciation, though. Not well, to be. I mean, you could have Josiak or Josik or Hosach and uh, Anasopia or Anasopia. However, you have it written down there also Joe and Anna. Hold on. I'm bringing up my um, back. So, as they 
uh, are hugging you both and they have uh, misty eyes and um, they yeah, have the smell of home of uh, your mom has that scent of the clean uh, wool that she makes the clothes from and your dad has that earthen musty smell of the uh, farmland for the special um, plants that they grew. Mm -hmm. They uh, say it is not safe here. If if those are your friends, ask them to come into the carriage quickly. <clears throat> I wave over and wave everybody forward. What do you mean it's not safe? Where? Garrett, what do you do? Are we home? Seeing this gesture from Ayn. I'm just, what's going on? We need to get in the carriage. It's, it's not, not safe. safe. And I kind of, and again, I look back at my uh, parents and go, Are we home? She says, uh, they, they both say, Yes, you, you're home. Where else would you be? And. With that, a crashing, a sound somewhat familiar, and just for a second, Waldor is like, ah, it, it's got to be the protector. But it's unfortunately, as crashing through the forest, On the uh, other side there. Can you see that? Get the bird. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. A couple of, uh, shall we say, on the small side giants. A couple of small giants. Got it. Um, holding these boulders. These look very similar, but not definitely not the same ones that you encountered by the mountains. Okay. And um, Joe and Anna both attempt to uh, push, or not push, but like pull you behind them in a uh, protective movement. So I guess my uh, question would be what would you uh, what would you like to do at this time? You guys are like right about there when the crashing happens and you turn around and you see Well, I'll quickly weigh my options on somebody that's waving me over trying to protect their kids or the giants behind me, so I'll take the first option. Okay, well, uh, I, I mean, I allow myself to be ushered towards the carriage. Okay. What about you, uh, Zero? Everybody quickly, let's get the carriage again. Okay. And... Garrett, you'll forgive me. I didn't quite understand what you were saying. Uh, I said the option, the two options I have is the carriage or the giants, so I'll take option one. Okay. So, you all move. The door to the carriage is, uh, this doesn't show a side door here, but you would climb in the door there. You all are able to follow. And then you hear a yeah, and the carriage starts to move. 
So as far as you all are concerned, you're inside here. And if you want to do anything while you're inside of this carriage, it's got uh, like a, a window that's covered with a, a, a curtain on both sides. It's got uh, two benches, one in the front and one behind it. And then, so it's a little cramped to have, um, actually it's rather, with all five of you in there right now, it kind of seats you all pretty comfortably. Um, to the front, you can see there's a curtain that would lead probably to the guy that's uh, driving it if, but you don't remember seeing a uh, driver. And then looking behind you, there appears to be, um, though this carriage has a, a door on it, the carriage you're in does not. So the door is on the side uh, instead of the back. So what, is there anything any of you want to do? I'm going to be looking. Pulling back. All right, go ahead, Garrett. Let me pull them back the curtain, seeing if they're following us. Okay. Anybody else? No. No. Oh, I maybe. Same okay. Third time. <laughs> okay. So, um, you all take off. Um, Garrett, you look out the window on the side of the thing here, and you can see Anna and Joe what? moving a few steps up, and what I need is I need, um, we'll just go around the uh, screen here so we'll start at the top left like i usually do that would be garrett uh you're going to be rolling initiative and um we'll have uh i'm roll a d20 for this giant and zero roll a d20 for this giant and i will uh play the parents here. So Garrett, I need you to roll initiative. 10. All right, my side got a four. So, um, Garrett, I would like you to make a perception check, please. Intelligence. On a 30. Uh, would be 36. Okay. So as the uh, carriage is moving, it's about up to here, and you manage to look back, you see a, uh, like a shimmering rainbow, uh, some type of, like a light that has been somehow appeared. How about a different red? All the caps are on. All right, there we go. I want to talk to the brother when I get a chance to say something. Okay. So you see that, and then you see from the woman, she, um, like um, another different colored light, kind of like a, like a yellowish white come out of her. Like you see her like go like this with her hands, like put it together and a thing comes out and it goes to strike the boulder on this giant here. And she rolls a four and misses. 
And now, if uh, rolls a four and misses, if she's using psionics, that'd be it. Uh, zero. You wanted to say something to your brother, is that correct? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Those aren't our parents, and this is not our home. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm very confused. You don't want me to stop at the cart stop? No. 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 They Keep sit outside, going. they can take care of themselves. I don't know they're I don't know what they're doing, but I don't know what's well, happening. I just looked out there and they're doing something out there. I look out, can I see what's going on? Okay. Um if uh if Garrett moves out of the way you can. And I can move. Okay. Make a perception check, I right? Um, 36. Okay. You, when you get up there and you look at the window and you look back, you see the giant that you're rolling for. Throw a boulder. Roll a d20. Um, great roll. 17. Ouch. 17. All right. What a great um, roll. You see this one here. Throw a boulder, and it strikes this um, rainbow barrier. Some kind of whatever this is, yeah. And the rock, the boulder, bounces off of it. I need a zero now to roll a d20 for this one. 11. 11, okay. So... This one throws, and it kind of misses entirely and goes over too far and out of out of a viewing area for whoever's looking out of the window here. And as the wagon proceeds further, um, it suddenly stops, and you hear. A, a crunching sound coming from outside and the front of the carriage. Great. So now it would be actions. And we'll start with uh, the two brothers. So, I mean, what is your action? Power. Zero. I want to look through the curtain and see what's going on. Probably cast the power, but. I, I, I go and look through the curtain. You said there was a curtain to the front, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so to to be able to do that, that will be your um, that'll be your action. That wouldn't be my movement? That would be your action. Okay. You can I ask you that? Can I ask can a question? Uh, is it for the dungeon master? For the DM, yes. yes. Okay. Upon hearing this sound, this crushing, crashing, does it seem like the wagon is coming to a stop? Oh yeah, that's obvious. Oh, okay. All right. Um. Balmir. Nice. Uh, she is going to get outside of the wagon. So she's going to move. And Waldor is going to stay in the wagon. So we go to Ein. Roll initiative. Beat a nine. Eight. Eight. <laughs> All righty. So, anybody on very fast? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I, I pull, out pull out my sword, sword and, and roll to roll activate my power. power. I rolled, I rolled an, eight, an eight, which is plenty good for Dimension Blade. Alrighty. 
Your dimension blade now is two-dimensional. It has high, what does it have? Length and that's it? What so it, it has it length has? and height, but not but width. Not width. So it's this way and this way, but not this way. Nice. All right. Um, we go now to fast, and uh, at the same time that Zero is moving to the uh, front curtain, uh, Volmir is going through there as well. So when you um, I'm gonna go first. I'm not gonna get in way. When you uh, make it up there to the curtain, I would like you to roll a perception check, please. Ooh. Um, twenty-seven. Okay, so it is very not difficult to look directly out the front and notice that the horse has been uh, severely like broken in half basically as if <laughs> something snapped it and its legs are splayed out like and it, so that's not cool. Um, but your roll did not reveal what, what, did, what did. might have caused it or any other extra information that I have as a dungeon master waiting to spring on you and kill you all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, you still have, uh, some movement if you want zero. I'm gonna try and move it to if I can to get on top of the uh, carriage. On top, like up here. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you scramble out, and sure you want me to roll? Uh, go ahead and roll your climbing, please. That would be Purcell. Okay. Uh, 34%. All right. Yeah, that's uh, plenty good. You uh, find the handhold and you put put your foot on this little uh, thing here and you and you climb up. Is there any particular direction you would like to face? Uh, well, you have, your, you have the, the... I'm not standing on top. I get, I'm like on all fours. Like I'm on my knees and my hands. Okay. I, you know, studying myself. I'm looking, I'm surveying the area. Which I know I can't do till the next turn, but I'm surveying the area to see what the hell is going on and where everything. Well, at this, at, at, by looking around at this time, you can see the what's going on back here, obviously, with the giants and your parents, and up this way you see the road continues, and there appears to be like maybe a stream and. Uh, a couple buildings up that way. But I don't but see anything that might have taken out the horse. Unfortunately not. Okay. Okay. That's, okay. That's all I can do this turn. So. Um, the uh, I let's see. Okay. Um, I don't remember what you said you were going to do, Garrett. Out the door. Out the door? Okay. And any particular place you want to go out the door? Out to the out left. left. Just how far away from the road and the carriage, I guess? Uh, ten feet away from the carriage. All right. That would be about there. Does anybody else think my character there looks like Captain Kirk uh, in the yellow, in his yellow uniform? It's okay, yellow uniforms don't die. <laughs> Just the red ones, right? 
just yep. Yep. What about the next generation? Did the yellow ones die in that one or nope. no? No, red. Red was always security, but red was red also carrying Red is always the dust. It, 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 they they, they kind of I don't know didn't make sense all the time but whatever. Okay, so that was uh, fast. Um, let's see. Um, Garrett and Zero. Yes. You notice that these giants. Turn and begin moving your way. Of course. No, Why not? that's the only possible answer. Well, at least there's no rock in the field anymore, so let's see they brought with them. Okay, and then um, that's where they end up on slow. Or no, that would be, um, yeah, slow. And that, um, that giant can make it to there. This one is going to move up to threaten Garrett. And. Don't forget you said Bomber was going out the curtain in the front. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Well, um, all right. Well, there you go. You got a good roll there. She ended up over here. And. She's like uh, getting ready to shoot. And I'm theoretically, you could take a half move at the end of the round. I will. I would like to use my half move to get out of the carriage. And upon which, which door? Do you want to go out the front or the side that Garrett went? I follow Garrett. All right, well, unfortunately, you pop out, and you're like, there's two giants right there. Uh, this they're one. Little <laughs> yeah, they're just yeah, little, they're giants. little giants. So that's, uh, that's not good. Uh, Blair Witch they're not big they're giants. giants. They're just little giants. It's fine. All right, so next round. Um... At the end of the round, you hear, uh, like, uh, yelling, run away, run away, from these, from the parents back here. Garrett. All right. So. At the beginning of um, at the beginning of the round, I'd like to say, Garrett, let's kill. All right, we need uh, action, so we'll uh, start with Garrett. It's dying time for giants. Attack. Okay. Um, I'm. Attack. Okay. She will attack. Uh, zero. Attack. Ooh, nice. From the top, top and button. that is it. So I think it is uh, zero turn to roll initiative. Beat a five. We got a one. A one. All right, you guys are sped up. So anyone that was going fast gets to go in very fast. And that's uh, uh, real quick. Is that two bow a sharp bow? Yeah. Uh, so 
That would be. Uh, is that a medium gun? Or I mean, average. average. Depends on what weapon you're using. A short bow is average normally. Well, the the, well, the, the magic sharp bow. Yes. Uh, oh. As of right now, it is average. Okay, so then I would go on fast. Normally, yes. Okay, so who wants who wants to go on um, very go ahead, fast? Garrett. Go ahead, Garrett. Me. Me. Okay, and what do you do? Skin piercing. Attacking. You're going to attack in melee? Yes. yes. Okay. The one that's directly to my front. All right, roll the hit. Uh, 17. That would be an armor class of minus 12. That's a hit. Roll Dacus. Yeah. Is he large, I'm guessing? Yeah. He looks that huge. Be... Not large. He looks huge. <laughs> 13 points of damage. 13 points. And you want to ask a question? Would you like this creature to die? Yes. Roll an additional 2d6, please. Uh, an additional six points of damage. All righty. The giant has a stab wound right in its uh, left thigh. And uh, Skin Piercer says, um, Mmm, here's a taste I haven't had in a while. Nice. And then, who's next? I believe that would be me. All right. Where, who, where do you go? You got your choice of either one. I, uh... Take the one that's right in front, in front of where my character's facing. All right. So I'll step up to it. You move up to threaten and yeah. roll to attack. All right. Keep in mind, I'm using my dimension blade. Yep. I rolled and hit an armor class of four. That is a hit. Roll Dinkus. And these are large creatures, they so sure I'm doing are. that guy. Nine points of damage. Oh. Man, you slice into his belly and you hear a sizzling. Tss. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but delicious. <laughs> the dimension blade isn't necessarily searing, but for some reason there was a sizzling as you slice into this fat fuck. So, um, who's next? I, I go on fast, so. All right. Uh, you and Volmir both attack on fast, except Volmir is going to do the um, called shot to avoid hitting Garrett. So what are you attacking and with what there, Zero? Okay, so I'm hoping since I've got this height advantage and I'm attacking a giant that's large that I can attack him with a bow from my height without having to do a called shot? You tell me. Well, I will only uh, read you the... I know what it says. I'm asking you because of the height advantage. I'm higher. I'm a much higher up in the air, and it's a it's a large creature. I don't it gives you other bonuses. I would say 70-80% of it would be exposed. I mean, if there's some other bonus that might knock out part of the uh, it does uh, hit point too. read it <laughs> high advantage does apply to certain things I was just more trying to not have to have that negative for trying to hit it because I've got an aerial shot on it you know if the target is two or more sizes larger then there's no need to do a called shot. So this does not apply. These are large. How about height advantage? And we will call it. I will. Uh, I think you get a. Uh, allow. 
not think, but just uh, look at it. I'm looking it up too, Cobb. Um, I'm, I'm... Five basic smoothies, spell interaction, not in that one. How about in this one? <laughs> Combat modifiers. Attacker on high ground, plus one. Okay. So I guess I'll use, uh, I'll do a call chat then. So here's what I'm doing. I've got the new bowl in my hand because that's where I have to carry it, like we discussed last week. Um, I am going to, I'm going to take a shot in the dark here and assume that it being magical and there's no bowstring that maybe won't appear. So I'm going to hold it like I hold my other bow and reach for where that string should be and think about shooting an arrow and hope something happens. Okay. So I, I, beyond that, I, I don't know what happens. And what's your target? The, the big giant in front of my brother. Okay. All right. So, uh, let's see here. Do you, uh, um... I, I make the motion and I hope that that is enough to activate something. You follow me? Okay. Are you uh, standing up or are you shooting from like your knees? From my knees. So I've got a better, uh, uh, a more secure platform I'm on in case something moves. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So there's no penalty for kneeling, and you make the motion as if your bow had a string. And I'm thinking that it does when I'm doing it, so I'm hoping that's enough to cause it to happen. Okay. Um, roll, um, let's see, this would be, um, yes. Roll a charisma check, please. Um, uh, twenty. Yep. Roll a seventeen plus sixteen. So thirty-three. Okay. Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Yeah. I gotta turn my light on. I can see my dice. The no string magically appears but the two um the two gems the one on each end of the bow um kind of flicker for a second and that kind of catches your attention okay and then you have to tell me because something in your mind says and not not uh not a voice like skin piercer but some type of uh, intuition says um, pick pick one and loose. Flaming arrow? And I let go. I think it in my head. I don't say that one. Okay. Now make a, a wisdom check, please. Want to be again? Yep. A 15 and an 18. Okay. So the uh, wisdom check reveals to you that the... The thing that you asked for is not, it is not, um, that is not a power of this bow. This bow apparently is made or drawn to you 
and Front to me. That is where um, your turn, unless, well, you get to make a half. Well, no, you got up off your, okay. Uh, all right. What about a second, first of all, what about a second attack? Because Bo's, second of all, I have a question. Whenever you get him. In. Well, this bow is not um, at, at like that, so it's... Got it. But what's your question? So, okay, apparently, I don't know if I was not paying attention or what. Could you describe to me the bow again? I forgot that there was gems on the ends. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Or did you show a picture? No, I didn't show a picture. I did describe it, but I can... Uh, I'm sorry. I can draw it. I, Not an issue. You should reason. You let me draw it, like you let her draw hers. Yeah, if, stuff like if you want, but I... Uh, I do want to. And I don't think now is the appropriate time to study the boat from down on the ground where you're attacking the monster. No, I'm just trying to remember because... Chris... Well, Cobb, let me let me say something real quick about my choice that you gave me. Um, if I remember correctly, your sharp bow could only fire one type of arrow. So when you gave me a choice, I don't know what. I, that's where I'm confused. You can't fire a sheep arrow through a sharp bow, and I'm only familiar with fighting sheep. And, that, and you can only fire sheep with longbow. So I, the only thing I can say is. Um, <laughs> Okay, I mean, are, I, I understand this is all trial and error. You're in the process of learning this. I understand. Okay. I'm just telling you, that's why I didn't say a type of error. I mean, I guess I could say flight, and that should work, but I, I already know I can't fire a sheep through it, so I'm not familiar with any other arrows other than the two. And I know this bow only, a uh, sharp bow only fires one. So that's that's the premise I was going on. Acknowledged. Uh, so the bow, I, I did describe it and I'll briefly describe it again. The, the curved length of the bow appears to be made of a silvery metal and a wood that at some point had been malleable and twisted together to form the length of the bow. And on the two ends of the bow, there are these uh, purplish gems with slits in them where if it had a string, it would go. Alrighty, thank you. So, uh, that was uh, fast. And... They will take a half move, and then okay. This one here, um. It proceeds to start sinking into the ground to where it's about halfway in the ground and it's by its waist. So imagine that now, uh, I and you're kind of looking at it eye to eye. Okay. This one here, apparently, uh, nothing happens to it. Okay. Okay, you crazy. Uh, Volmir shots. Okay, now we go to uh, average, and she would get to shoot at that one with a called shot, and she rolls a fourteen minus four is a ten, and. Unfortunately, I don't have that memorized.
with her short bow. She has a missile thacko of eight. So that is a hit. And I should have seen how much the arrow did versus large. A D6. A D6 right. still. So on this one here that Garrett is fighting, an arrow flies by and strikes the giant for four points of Dinkus. Man, I have all these pens around here and I can't ever find them after I use them. Fucking weird. Okay. And that was average. So now on the loser side of average, the Giants finally get to go. So. This one here, though it has shrunk down, it is still going to attempt to punch Ein in the face. And with it being half in the ground, it has a negative to its to hit. Then it rolls. And with that, it hits an armor class of uh, da, 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 eh, one. You son of a bitch. Is that a hit? Ties, so yeah. Me too beats it. Okay. So, with its powerful giant fists. I Oh, come on. You take six, six points of damage. That's blows. Wait, how many? Two, one, six. Thanks. And then, with its other fist. Uh, that's a horrible miss. It swings and you're just like, not this time, motherfucker. And you block it and get out of the way. So, and then over here on Garrett. It's got two powerful fists. Oh, a 19 and a 16. So, uh... Armor class of minus nine to minus six. Bear. <laughs> okay. So, I'm, or I'm sorry, Garrett, you take that's more like it. 19 points of damage. And <laughs> you do not need to save versus paralyzation. No knockdown chance. Uh, okay. Now we go to Volmir's second called shot. And a natural 20! And a 13... That hits, that's it, okay. So this arrow flies in. Doing five, I'm sorry, yeah, five points of damage. Ooh, this thing is like, it gets right in its uh, cheek. And uh, it's like ho howling in pain with this arrow in its face and it grabs it and rips it out. It's going, and blood flies out. And uh, it looks like it's like rubbing its eye, like it's uh, got blood that's in its eye. Okay. And. Cobb, I make. Go ahead. The fire again because I know it's to be able to fire. I go through motion to try and fire my second shot. Okay. Make a wisdom check again. A nine and a eighteen, so uh, twenty-seven. <laughs> okay, you um understand 
or notice or what have you that when you draw back as if to fire again, the little crystals do not uh, make any type of flash or energy okay. type thing. Okay. Okay. Um, and then make a charisma check again, please. Hmm. 23. 23. Okay, that isn't quite high enough. Um, no, no more information there. No. I will go. Do you need a, a cord? Because if you need it, you can have that one. You sure? Okay. Well, yeah, mine, you can, mine can, you can take the so if, depending on how long you need. Let's see. A foot? No. That green one's cool if that's cool with you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, you playing tonight? Yeah, the lockdown's got us uh, want, got to have something to do. I can't watch you too long. We are playing. Okay. Anyway. All right, Eddie. so at the end of the round, uh, if there's any maintenance to be paid, well, let's, first of all, does anyone want to take a half move at the end of the round? Do I get my second attack? Uh, isn't this the first round that Skin you fought, that you, this Skin is round piercer. number two? Yep. Okay, then yes, you do. Uh, armor class of minus seven. That's a hit. Uh, dude, you don't even have to roll. How do you want to do it? Well, straight up through its head. So, as the... Giant has got its uh, hand and it's rubbing away the blood, and just for a second it like blinks its eye, and you see the you see your opening, and you take the spear and jam it up underneath its like chin, and the spear comes out the eye that it just wiped off, and it goes yeah, and it falls over dead. Nice. And Skin Piercer is like, mm, the brain was tasty too. <laughs> okay, so does anyone want to take a half move at the end of the round that didn't move? Nope. Okay. Um, so, any maintenance paid that would be paid now? Yep. And... We go to round number three. What about the feet? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so we got um, Garrett with two, Ian with one, Valmer with two. And that's it. Oh, because I didn't, mine didn't work, I didn't take any. Maybe. <clears throat> All right. Round number three. Let's go for actions, and we'll start with Ein. Attack. Garrett. Attack. Zero. Let's try to attack. Uh, Volmer will uh, call shot again. Um, and Waldor is somewhere, and before we roll initiative, I need all of you to roll, uh, actually no, one of you, Garrett, since you're the leader, roll a d10. Uh -oh. Four. Okay. If you have a reaction adjustment on your dexterity, nope. you are yep. allowed to make a perception check. Nope. I have a re adjustment, so I'm going to so attempt. Do I. Natural 30. 
I barely missed. Okay, so this information is for Garrett only. As you are uh, fighting, and as you uh, start to focus your attention on this giant here, um, a weird uh, sensation tingles the back of your neck. And just at a brief moment, you like just do a quick glance that way and I can't find this figure. Yeah. There it is. Okay. You notice a... What you think is a, some kind of thing that you've already... You've encountered before. It's like, looks like it might be coming out of the stream, and hmm. I wonder if I can, I bet you I can, there we go. And you notice this, but you're, um, okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we start with, um, very fast. Oh wait, did we we didn't roll initiative yet, did we? No. Okay, it's back to you, Garrett. Speed of nine. Nine. What'd you get? Nine. Uh oh. <laughs> Garrett, roll a D twenty. Speed of twelve. Natural 20. Okay, this happens to your side. Roll again. Um, three. Ah, always cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, the um, the with a startling, unexpected thing, the the horse that was splayed out and flat gets up and starts to uh, run in a random direction 
And I would like, where's my circle? I would like to find my circle. There it is. I would like zero to roll a d12, please. Six. Really? <laughs> that's what I wrote. Oh, that's fucking wow. amazing. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can see. It's gonna run into the six, card. six is that way, and I was holding it like this. So for some reason, this horse gets up, runs into the carriage. Bam! Zero. You need to make me. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees to make it so I'm not as uh, off balance up there. That's my whole point. You need to make a uh, saving throw versus paralyzation. If you have a uh, reaction adjustment on your dexterity, you would add that to I, your dice roll. I know. I rolled a 17, so I'm okay. All right. So the. Uh, <laughs> Something's weird with this horse. I don't know what it is. Yeah, for its legs to be splayed out, which would be they'd all be broken at the hip. Yeah, for it to jump up and start running, I, I'm, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Uh, this whole thing we got here Sean. is weird. And the uh, indefeasible. <laughs> it's an indefatigable. Oh yes, it's back. It's the indefatigable donkey. <laughs> Sorry, call back. Okay, so we now go to very fast, which um, was nobody, and then we go to fast. And that would yeah, be Garrett. Garrett and I'm. I'm please this time. Alrighty. Nat 20. Roll it again. Ooh. Um, armor class 6 with my dimension blade. Alright. Normal damage. Damn it. Five points. All right. Once again, you slice it, and it's still down in the ground, so you slice it along its forearm. Ah! And skin flies off. Okay, Garrett. Like butter, just... Do you move up to threaten? Yes, I do. And what'd you roll? Uh, be an armor class of minus nine. That's a hit. Roll Dinkus. And would you like this creature to die? Yes. So it takes an initial four, uh, 14 points plus eight more. So 22 points. Oh. Oh, it's sad. How would you like to kill it? Straight through the head again. <laughs> okay. Brains taste good. Okay. Um, on the loser side of fast. I need... I need everyone to save versus spells. Spells. Made by two. Oh, that's a failure. I rolled a 14. I needed a 12. Same thing I rolled. All right. Uh, Garrett. Rolled a 12. I needed to have it above a 10. Uh, I'm. Rolled a 14. Needed a 12. Zero. I rolled the same thing I did. Rolled a 14 and he had a 12. 
All right. Um, the, the area here, a, uh, a set of like inky black tendrils emerge from eerily reminiscent of the holes that were in Forsooth's lair. And they whip out and try to grab or do something to everyone. And the only one that fails is Volmir. And she is uh, grappled. Everyone else is uh, unaffected. But if you remain in the area of effect, you certainly are subject to more attacks from these, uh, how should we say, inky tentacles of darkness. I just yell out, where did that come from? And... I move. I think... That may be it for the round. I guess we'll go to... Uh, average the loose well I move on fast so you said this happened on fast okay I would like to move and react to it unless I can't for some reason uh, you can you can do your uh, half move sure where do you want to go um, the other side of the wagon uh, to the other end and, and climb down or actually did you say you could jump down 10 feet with no harm? Or something like that? I don't, I don't know. I want to get off the wagon. I want to get off the wagon, but on the opposite side of the wagon, so it's not to be near this point. I don't know if I've ever seen a thing about how far you can jump down. But you tell me what you want to do, and we'll figure Pardon something me. out. I'm, okay now. I'm just getting off the wagon. Okay, but I'm doing it on the other side, not next to the hole. Okay, roll, uh, roll your climbing. Forty-three. Forty-three. All right, no problem. You scramble down. I'm on the back corner. Like. Yeah. I went to the back of the carriage and then went down from the okay. carriage. Well, I'm as That's far fine. away from the pool as possible. Okay. I assume that ends my move because if I can go further, I will. Um, at the end of the round, you can take a half move. Because basically you're just changing your action from attacking to moving. No, no, I'm gonna, is, have, have I moved my complete half move or is there still movement left? Yes, you've there. moved your complete half move. Okay, I'm good then. Okay. Um, so Balmir is grappled. At the end of the round, she's going to try to break the grapple. So she got a 18 and it got more than her. Okay. She is still held and uh, Ayn and Garrett, Ayn, you haven't moved yet. No, I have not. I moved towards my parents, I guess. Okay. You can get, uh, take my half move to move you can get forward. To there, move, scrambling. That's uh, perfectly fine. Over the giant is considered rough terrain, and it would be about the same if you ran around it. So, and Garrett, you Actually, have a half. That's perfectly fine. Garrett, you have a half move, if you want. I'm going to turn around to face it, being ready to attack. You're, are you going to stay where you are? Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a Garrett thing to do for sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, any maintenance paid would be now. Yeah, I'll continue my Dimension Blade. 
All right. And we go to round four. And at the beginning of the round, I need zero and ein to both make perception checks, please. 27 plus 37, 41. I rolled exactly a 31. Okay, so uh, zero, you see this thing, I, you do not. All right. So now that two of you ha are aware of this, At the corner of right there where the water, this is water here and there's a bridge and this is a mill kind of standing just off the edge of the bridge is this creature here. Is this that tentacle thing that was on the roof that was trying to attack? It sure is. Okay. All right. That's what I thought it was from the picture. Okay. So. You know that's there. Uh, may or may not have had something to do with this tentacle thing over here. So, um, we're in round four. And we're going to do actions. So we'll start. Valmir is going to try to break the grapple. Uh, so, Garrett? Tech. Zero. Attack. Fine. Um, so I already asked something and didn't get an answer. I Did you will. Ask me? Yeah. Well. What was the question? No, I, I said it in character towards oh, the okay. group. I said. All right. And I and I didn't get an answer. Correct. So, in a previous round, so it doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'll probably just drop my. I already paid maintenance. I will commune, talk. I guess. Parlay. Parlay. Yeah. All right. It's not. Yeah, I'm not going to be with the enemies because I don't. They're all dead. Uh, I would like um, Ein, or uh, I would like um, Sean and Chris to both roll uh, 30s, please. 18. 15. Okay. Anyone in very fast? Did we roll initiative yet? No, we no. didn't roll initiative yet. Okay, this is a uh, Ein initiative, I think. Did Sean roll? Sean didn't roll initiative yet. One, so it was just me two, and Garrett. One, two, three, four. I rolled once. Oh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's Garrett again then. I just did. It should be Sean's turn. Yeah, that's what I thought. I got the monkey. All right. Yeah. Am I rolling this one? Apparently you are. Yeah, because Sean rolled for, like, what the monkey was, but he didn't actually roll for initiative. No, I didn't roll for the monkey. Garrett rolled that too, I think. I rolled for initiative once, a long time ago. I really won. All right. I, I, I prefer that. I take what Sean has. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so your guys are sped up a phase. So we have uh Garrett and 
Ein. So let's go with um, Garrett. What are you attacking? Uh, the tentacle. Okay. I don't go till fast. And which, uh, which, what type are you running over there? Turn it around. Hey, Garrett, you need yes. to save versus spells again. You started the round in this area of effect of these tentacles. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't move out of that space when you had the chance last round. 18. All right. I need a 10. Correct. So are you moving somewhere first or are you, what are you doing? That's what I'm attacking, that right there that's got. He wants to attack the pentacle, so he can't move away. I <laughs> see. Okay. Uh, roll the hit. Uh, armor class of minus six. All right. You are fighting those tentacles and that inky blackness that's there on the ground. Uh, Skin Piercer says to you, you fucking idiot, that's a spell. You can't kill a fucking spell. Throw me at that fucking weird fucking thing. <laughs> okay. I knew okay. that was funny. Um, we now go to um, the loser side because that was very fast. Oh, I see. Okay. So now we go to the winner side of fast since you average people um, come that up. So, Parley? Okay. So I you go over to your parents and they're yeah. they're like that creature over there has uh been tracking us for a while and well, and I motion over to the two dead bodies and I said, Well they're dead now. No, look, and they point past you. And I look. And you see that thing over there. Oh shit! Okay, and now, okay, so. And then you see Gary oh, fighting these tentacle, this tentacle thing, and he doesn't seem to be having a lot of luck with it. I like it, you idiot! <laughs> what are you doing, Karen? Attack the guy! All right. Um. I also going to. Yes. So you can go. What are you, who are you, or what are you attacking? Taking a shot at that guy, uh, the, the tentacle guy or whatever. All right. Let's see how far away he is. I think I've got a better, uh, there we go. All right. Uh, so, the ranges are the same as a short bow. Okay. So, whatever you're within five, that should be short range still. Yeah. Okay, so no penalty. Roll the hit. So, my first thing is... Well, hold on. First, I'm going to do the same motion with the bow. Um... And this time I'm going to think uh, a flight arrow. Okay, make a charisma check. Eighteen, fourteen. So uh, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, thirty-four. Thirty-three, thirty-four. No, is that right? Yeah, thirty-four. Okay. Now make me a wisdom mm -hmm. check. I got a 20, natural 20, uh, so a 1, 38. Roll it again. 
A one. Okay. Um, you get not words, but a feeling. And you have to decide if you want you have to decide if if you feel sympathy or antipathy if I have the words correct. Well, I know what sympathy means, but I'm not sure about the other one. You say antipathy? A Hold deep on. feeling seated of dislike, aversion. Yes. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, dislike this motherfucker. Okay. So that would be the one I choose. Roll. Roll what? Roll the hit. <clears throat> A natural point. Roll again. Come on, big roll. A 17. And what does that hit? Um, if my stack goes the same, it would be, uh, minus two. Okay. So, this time you, you, uh, act like you're drawing back on a make-believe bowstring. And you okay. think, uh, I have an intense feeling of dislike for this creature. And with that, the purplish gem on the bottom of the bow, and you know it's the bottom because the way the uh, handguard is right. created um, flashes for just a very brief second. And The creature looks like it's been hit by something, even though you didn't see anything come out of the bow or fly across the air or rain so down I mean, from above or any. There was no, no obvious. Uh, change in condition or surroundings to explain how your feelings of antipathy affected this creature. But uh, it did, apparently. And... So I, I, I did the motions including the relief. And and then it looked like something hit it, but I got the feeling that I actually really saying in here. It didn't. Right. No, there was there wasn't any resistance or right. okay. anything on your end. So what did it do? It kind of took a, like a uh, like a like it looked like maybe uh, an invisible arrow hit it or something like you know like a I don't know what was the reaction on it. Yeah, that were you listening? I thought I described that. You said it looked like it got, it, it took a hit of some sort, but you didn't describe the hit. I was asking. Right. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't uh, any any outward physical okay. change. Okay. Um, Do I need to roll damage? Or? But did it have any kind of reaction when it got hit? It, he said it just looked like it got hit. Yes, it. it uh, it looked as if it was um, struck by something in its torso, but it wasn't, there was no hole, or it's as if, uh, imagine if, uh, you remember in the uh, Doctor Strange when the Ancient One hit the Doctor with her open hand and he kind of flew, his soul flew out backwards? Yeah. Imagine, imagine if, that's what happened to this creature. Okay. Said something with enough force to break its concentration. Hopefully. Uh, I, I, I mean, it, from this distance, 
the the idea that it's concentrating could be a thing, but you're not sure. Um, the hey, cop, once more, you do not want me to roll damage, is that correct? Not yet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Do you remember do you remember what you uh, got on your charisma check? Wasn't it like thirty something? Was the charisma the first roll or it was like a eighteen plus eighteen, I think. No, it wasn't eighteen plus eighteen. One of them was natural twenty, I think that was That was wisdom. That was your wisdom check. Your charisma should have been a 15. All right. Yeah, I don't remember. It was a 15 plus an 18. Okay, that sounds right. Okay. Um, okay. It was 18. It was 18 plus 16. It was 34. I do remember that now. All right. Um, so that just happened. Hopefully I hit it in the heart. It is called the heart needle. <laughs> Give it an asshole. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that was uh, fast. Okay, so the loser side of fast. Um, that, um, that wasn't great. So, <clears throat> it seemed to, uh, not care for that. <laughs> and it retreats around the uh, corner of the mill. At least you assume it does. It might have teleported away. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> um, and the <laughs> is going to try to break free. No, not with a natural 20 against her. Okay. So now we go to average, or slow, or very slow. So that round's done. I, I use my move to walk around the um, tentacle spot and try to get closer to the creature. Yep, if I'd like to so my second attack, I'd like to get a move too. Which way do you want to go, uh, Ayn? The first way you sent me is fine. Okay. Don't you, I'm trying half, to avoid the black spot. Seven? Ayn? I'm sorry? Is it your half move seven? Because you got a 13, or am I thinking of somebody else? Yes. yes. No, that's right. <coughs> and then... My, my, again, my, my goal is to avoid the... Uh, Oh, tentacles. okay. Well, you can't go that way then. If you're going to avoid the tentacles, then you got to go. Yeah, yeah, that's why I said around the carriage. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's and perfectly Garrett, fine. Garrett, where are you going to go? Go northeast from where I am. That way? Yeah, it's going to take you through the tentacles. Um, actually, well, you're northeast. So, like, aiming towards your one o'clock. Right past the dead. Yes. And what's half of your move? Is it a 7 or an 8? What's your movement? Isn't it like 15? It's my second move. Yeah, 15 movement. Okay. All right, so you end up there. When my brother walks by me, I say, I think I hit it. What do you mean? Uh, something happened. I think I hit it. I, I saw something, but it looked like it. Something happened. I think I did. Okay. Maybe that thing of that bow 
works. It did something. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, what would you guys like to do next round? We'll start with uh, zero. Power. Okay. Uh, I'm. Um, can I move? Garrett? Move. All right. Uh, whoever's turn it is, roll initiative. God, Thank where you. is this one right now? Round number five. Seven. What'd you say, Sean? Where is the sun? Uh, well, if you remember, it's kind of a overcast, sporadically so. And Don't if I remember shadow. correctly, it's, um, it's kind of like. You need to put your hand down. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, um, the In the sky is going direction. that way, so. It's, uh, I mean, the sun's like in the sky, kind of, I don't know how to describe it. No, that's fine. You, you mean, that, that's what I need to know. Will you turn the camera back towards the buildings, please? You said, no, never mind. Uh. We're all falling. <laughs> ah, okay. Learn something new every day. Nice. That's not with the Kleenex are for. <laughs> we can't even get any Kleenex. Why is it the St. Louis stores can get stuff that y'all can't? I don't know, man. Because they're rednecks. Okay. All right. Because they were lowly, lowly commoners outside of the uh, city. Okay. Do we have actions? Yeah. Yep. Power, blah, blah. Yeah. And did we roll initiative? <laughs> no, we yes, I rolled a seven. <laughs> oh, <there> we have. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, the wires. All right. All right, I roll initiative. I do you want me to re-roll? I rolled already. It doesn't matter. I rolled a ten. All right. I rolled a seven. All right. Okay. Anyone very fast? Yeah. yeah. I'm using a cattle walk. You see that building in your view, the building on the right? I'm I'm moving right to the uh to the Yes, now put me in put me in front of the building. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. but right up against the building because I have to be in the shadow of the building. All right, roll your activation. A 17 or less, and I rolled a 16. So nothing special, but it works. I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm moving the shadow facing uh, the west. <laughs> And when you get over there, I hope I see the guy. Oh. Uh -oh. So I don't see him? Oh, frick. Hold on to it. <laughs> Amateur photographer. So I don't see him, is that correct? Correct. Okay. <laughs> Is that uh, another building, that dice tower? Yeah. Okay. That's the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, fast? Yes. I think both of you guys were Movement. running or moving somewhere. Yep, run. Yep, run. And where are you trying to get to? The bridge. Same. Okay. Where I last saw the creature. <coughs> I 
and he's not there. Nope. All you see is Sin the mill and the water. Can I say something? Heck yeah. Since skin piercer on the roof, it probably climbed. Okay. I'm going to tell skin piercer to go to the roof of the house. <laughs> Tell them to find that thing there. All right. All right. So <clears throat> you um, send skin piercer. So is this a new round then? Yeah. Then I have another power. <laughs> okay, skin piercer's up there. I moved to the face, the same side of the building as I'm on now, on the dice tower over there. I moved to that side of it, just like I am on this building. Same same method, shadow walk. Go ahead. <clears throat> I rolled good. I rolled a, what the hell is that? A nine, which is sufficient. And I should be facing south towards you. I'd be on the other side of the building, Cobb on the on the back side there, towards you. What? I would be on the side facing you, not on that side of the building, because that that side would be fun technically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, just to be clear, I'm in the shadow because that's where I went to, so I didn't come out of it unless I come out of it. Yeah. I'm not hidden completely, I'm just saying I, I am in the shadow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meanwhile. Uh, you doing all right over there, Cobb? Do I see anything? Um, no, other than um, the stream that's in front of you. and. Okay. So there's nothing on your side of the building that I can see, though. Okay. Can I say something? Yes. I yell out, you see him? I shake my head back and forth, like in a no fashion. All right. Skin pierce, you see anything? Negative. Where the fuck did he go? I point to the. I point to the water. I'll recall skin piercer. All right, it comes back. All right. I try to search for the creature from um, the water, into the water, trying to see something. Can I make a roll or whatever? Or is there nothing there to see? <laughs> so, are you going to scan from the bridge? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> make me a perception check, please. All right. I've got the bow off cob and I'm just waiting for a target. Okay. I rolled a two, so that'll be high negative. <laughs> that will not be uh I have feet. Okay. Is it possible I can look for him in the water from my position? I believe he's in the water, but I'm not gonna approach the edge of the water. Uh yeah, go ahead. What am I rolling? Perception. Okay. Oh, fuck. A two. <clears throat> okay, unfortunately you don't see anything other than the uh, stream. Wait, what did you say you rolled, Sean? The sound of the, wind, the, sound of the mill uh, clanking along. <clears throat> and... Um, which one's the mill? Okay. Okay, so what are what are the buildings? That's a so mill. that's a water mill. That's a church. Church. That's a, uh, that's a whatever. <laughs> As you uh, look that way, you notice the uh, road. <clears throat> kind of keeps going and there's more uh, buildings 
that way along the same sizes and oh so this is like an outskirts of a town yeah we don't okay. recognize the town yet do we cop you say yes or no <laughs> make me <clears throat> uh let's see who is that not me Randy. Randy, you look at the back. You okay, Tom? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I probably just need some water. Um, he swallowed, he swallowed a little bit of his pride. Right. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> um, uh, the zero. Um, you have me wrong. Make me an intelligence check, please. An intelligence check. Oh, 19 plus uh, 14, so 33. <clears throat> There's, um, something familiar about this place. <coughs> As you <clears throat> start to look around, you notice that the land past this uh, stone building <clears throat> and this way has a very familiar <clears throat> um, vegetation growing in it. <clears throat> this, I look around, does this look like new stone? Make me an intelligence check. <coughs> More than that, what I just did? 31. But you didn't tell me it looked like new stone. <clears throat> It looks like new stone, but not the new stone we left. Cop. <clears throat> There's certainly elements of it that seem similar, but there's. It matches why our parents are different. There's so we're too in... many. Um, <clears throat> there's too many things that aren't similar. Right. Gotcha. I look over at my brother and just kind of <laughs> wave him along, and I turn around and start walking back to the carriage. I, I walk towards the road and then cross the bridge and walk back to the carriage with my bow out watching for any target. I cease to maintain and put my sword away. Is Volmir still having issues? <clears throat> Volmir appears to be... Um, Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to violated by this. Straighten herself out after <clears throat> being affected by this spell for five rounds. Jeez. And I'm gonna get a glass of water. <clears throat> oh, it hurt. That's what I had to get to, is a glass of water. I'm going to go grab myself some water as well. do while you're gaming she is in the bedroom right now and the phone was ringing here is my mother-in-law 
So I went back there to see if she's going to get it, and she's asleep right now. Um, she'll sleep, go to sleep at 7, 30, 8 o'clock. She'll be up at 2 o'clock in the morning. <clears throat> And start messing around on the computer, getting work done. Hey, Randy. Cool. Yeah. Mine's prone. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll give John a minute. Go ahead, I can hear you, John. Okay. <clears throat> As you all come back to uh, meet up with everyone. <clears throat> you notice that <clears throat> off to the side is that horse. Apparently it didn't get too far. Is it dead? <clears throat> well, you can assume so, unless you'd like to uh, verify. No, I'm good. So, I look at my parents and I'm like, what's going on? We probably shouldn't talk out in the open. <laughs> Are you... As far as you know, do you think you're being followed? No, we just got here from the past. Who? You look like my parents. What does that mean? But, and I say that, I, I say, you look like my parents, but this is not, where are we? Your uh, father comes up to you and says, of course we're your parents. Are you, did you get injured in this fight? I mean, there, I have a scratch, like a, a good bruise on me, but there's nothing. I'm explaining to the DM. Uh, I have a bruise on me, but it's not anything bad. No, you just, I thought you didn't have abilities. <clears throat> and you, you both of you are <coughs> you must be injured where are we you're in your home this is the village of Newstone when they say that and being I used to be a militia here do I recognize these buildings <laughs> Give me an intelligence check. Twenty-one. Twenty-one, huh? Yeah, probably not. Um, no, this is this, this is, is not, not the new phone that we're from. No, we met severely messed stuff up. Did a dragon attack? No. Your fun. We we are the sons of a different set of parents on a different timeline somewhere. Our parents don't have powers, and our new school looks different. Your mom looks at you and she's like, "What's what is wrong with them, Joe? <clears throat> They're talking nonsense and gibberish." He says, "I don't know." We, um, 
What's the what last thing you remember of us? When's the last time you've seen us? When we sent you to the city to retrieve supplies we need. What happened to the festival? Well, you when we were first off, no, no, no festival, you guys were in uh, Lightmar uh, selling our crop, and we were at home alone. We went to the festival. It was the same weekend or week, whatever. And then that's when the dragon attacked, and we kind of inserted ourselves into a mission. We hadn't seen you, and you hadn't returned. That's the last one we last you, you, had, you were gone to the um, to the big city with the, the wagon and, and the crops that we raised. <clears throat> what what is this link mart you speak of? The city where the prince the king big and city, queen lives. Several days away. Several ways day to the northeast. I don't know why you would call it Lankmore. <clears throat> What's it called here? I may be calling it the wrong thing, Cobb. I got no, you're right. right. Am I? No, okay. brother. You're right. I was wrong saying that. I, I know, but... <laughs> this is this is Newstone. Right? Yeah. Kind of. It don't look the same as ours, though. <clears throat> We need to go somewhere. We have a story to tell. We should get them to the healers immediately. <laughs> we, he, we have a healer. We need. We have a story. Let's go find somewhere safe. I'll take healing. How about? I'll go to the healer. <laughs> how about if you come home? That's fine. And we <clears throat> have a nice meal, and you get some rest. Sounds great. We I'll need take. To... Yeah. Even though you're not our same parents, you're still. I kind of look cool around parents. and I'm like. You have the best interest for us, so. This be happy okay. To... I got a weird question. Is there people in the town? Who are you asking? DM. Yeah. <laughs> you have, do you have to see anybody? Where's all the people at? What people are you talking about? The people the villagers. The dragon town where we come from. Before the dragon attack. Is there someone specific you need to see? No. no we're just... Where is everyone? It's the middle of the day. There ain't a single person out here. I'm sure they'll be around. Well, let's let's go somewhere safe. Let's, let's, go, let's go home. That thing's still out here. It took off. I think it went in the water. Let's go home. We'll explain what it is and everything else. What are you going to do with the cart? Well, until we can get another horse, I guess... <clears throat> Cobb, I'm going to go over and take a look at the horse. Does the horse appear to be a dead? <coughs> okay. You go over and look at the horse. I'll do diagnostic on it if you'd like. Except for the horse isn't there. Okay. So it's missing. I need all of you to make uh, intelligence checks, please. Okay, now I have a question for Waldorf. 33. Or uh, 30. My bad, 30 exact. 28. What? I'm sorry, what am I doing? Intelligence? Yeah. Uh, 22. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're all pretty sure that that horse was just there. I mean, obviously... I could Where did the horse, horse go? <laughs> Walbar, are you here somewhere? I go look in the in the carriage. Yeah, he, he comes out of the carriage. Eh. Walbar, we need to get this carriage back to our house. 
Can you make one of these uh, giants pull it? Well, I haven't had a chance to rest and memorize, pray for spells since the fight, so unfortunately not. Okay. Well, maybe the cart will just automatically disappear like the horse did. <laughs> Where's the horse? Your parents are like, come on, let's go. Where's the horse? I say louder, like, towards them when they say that. I'm sure it'll turn up. Your horse is named Turnip? No. He's slow. Don't. <laughs> Sorry, Gary, but. <laughs> you smash. I smash, but you smash more. So, they start walking. I'm going to uh, ask do I need to go find a room at the end? No. No, no you don't. No, we have a. Uh... So. We have plenty of room for you and your friends. We all stay together. Where the hell did the little guy go? I don't know. I haven't seen him all day. I haven't seen him yet. His fig up and disappeared. <clears throat> He, uh, so apparently he made a successful hide and his roll. Yeah. <clears throat> no? <coughs> wonder, wonder if I knocked him down. I don't think I did. I think he's hiding. What the hell happened to him? I told you, cop. He made a successful hide and Kratos. You can't see him now. Yeah. Neither can we. Is that him? Nope. nope. Yeah, there he is. Okay. No, it's the one next to him. <clears throat> All right. Is there any particular way that you want to follow? I am behind my father. I'll bring up the rear. Okay, so you walk for a little while, <clears throat> going past <clears throat> the buildings up here until you come to a, <clears throat> like a <clears throat> two-story house on the edge of town, not even remotely close to what you all remember is where you lived and grew up. What? Where's our house? This isn't the house we grew up in. Here it is. Don't you remember? No. This is not where I grew up. We, uh, you guys are in a room. And they open the door and say, come on in. I follow. And the scent of baked goods and pot of stew over a fire is, greets you as you walk in. And on your right, there's um, kind of a 20 foot by 20 foot room with a carpet or a rug on the floor. The floor appears to be um, made of wood and has a... Um, uneven 
texture because of the knots in the wood and the windows are all shuttered and there's a fireplace and in the fireplace there's something akin to uh where is that thing well it's like a there it is i just saw it i just saw it my eyes are deceiving me something similar to this but it's hanging from the inside the fireplace and they got the pot in there and your mom walks over to it and grabs a few herbs and tosses them in there and stirs it and your dad says go ahead and uh, have a seat unless you you're tired and you want to go lay down no we need to figure things, things out <laughs> I kind of think you might feel a little bit better after a rest and then he's like how about a uh, how about a drink to make you sleepy and he walks over to the kitchen and there's a big shelving unit with several of these clay bottles and he and pops the top and goes over and pours each of you a, a decent amount of some alcoholic beverage you assume and hands you each one do you all accept the offer no I don't like, accept it I said no I'm fine thank you yeah I don't require it okay and he's like well suit yourself and he drinks one and sets him back over on the table and he says well uh, as far as I'm concerned um, you know there's two beds in that room there if you want to go lay down yeah there should be two beds in that room that's my room right <laughs> my friend's gonna have the beds same we'll yeah Wish the sun would come out. What's up with this misty crap all over the place? That's just springtime weather. Still need the sun. I feel by the power of the sun. I need the sun to heal. Same. Well, I'm, I'm sure the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> I hope so. So, why was he chasing, following you? Who? The creature. Oh. Why did they attack us? <clears throat> I think the Lord was upset that we didn't provide. The Lord? We haven't provided him with uh, our <laughs> crops. That we're late. What do you mean, the Lord? The Lord of Newstone. What other Lord would there be? Unless you're talking about the Lord of Lank of uh of uh <laughs> Forston. Hmm. No. I'm uh What the fuck? Where did we end up this time? I don't some parallel or another where we were. Right. I think, I think we've been traveling just in time. I think it's been other places. I don't think it was just time, and I think this proves it. You know, the uh, the Lord asked about you two. What do you want to know? He just asked how you were doing and if you were progressing in your studies. I told him I felt like you were doing quite well and that you were progressing according to your goals and your plans. Well, uh, what, what studies are you talking about specifically? Our, our, our abilities, you mean? Yes. Yeah, where we come from, it's a, it's a, it's a secret. We're the only two that anybody knows of that has these abilities, and it's been a, a secret held close to our family and no one else knows. 
You keep saying where you're from. I, um... Your Parents, I, I put my hands out. I put my hands out on the table, kind of like offering it to each of them. Okay, hold on. To, so, you know, hold. we got... <laughs> kind of a... A table that's used for multi-purpose things, like eating or whatever. So... You are uh, sitting there at this table with your dad? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the mom's over kind of by the fire, and she's kind of working on something over there. Where Where are you, Garrett? I am standing in the corner. Okay. Just watching this because it don't seem right. Okay. I offer my hand to my father and I set it kind of laid on the table to you know you know what kind of what I'm doing like when you gather around for prayers everybody offers their hand and they just kind of yeah okay so I, I kind of do that to my father and when he places if he places his he, hand uh, in my yeah, palm he smiles and he uh, puts his hand either if yours is up he puts it in it or if it's mine's down, up he puts it okay Mine's up, and I put my other hand on top, you know, like cupping, you know what I mean? And I say, so you're where in the – in certain disciplines, there's ways to travel, right? Oh, well, certainly. <clears throat> I think somehow we traveled to a different place from where we come from. <laughs> A different version of the same place. Does that make sense? He says, <clears throat> "No." <laughs> this are you is. Sure, are you sure you, you wouldn't feel better after a nap? Or positive. <clears throat> you've been through a traumatic experience, I'm sure. You have no idea what we've been through. Well, <laughs> no offense. Couldn't, couldn't we uh, just have a home-cooked meal and talk about p more pleasant things, and then after a good night's sleep, we can approach this differently? We left years ago. We left, we left yeah. Years ago. We left a while ago. Not necessarily a while, but... Years. Again, we're from a different place along the same <clears throat> time. What's, uh, what are, introduce me to your friends. As they're talking, I'm looking at the door. I'm looking at the window to see if there can be barred and locked. Okay, so you're, you're. Uh, I look over. You're, you're. Uh, you walk over and you start inspecting the door and start inspecting the windows and he kind of the dad, Joe, kind of gives you a, a funny look and is like, what. Uh, what are you doing there? Well, there's a creature that happens to be walking around out there, and I'm wanting to make sure that there's no way for him to get in tonight. Garrett, it's where we're <laughs> at. He remember when we were in the um, the city with the Ganymedes? Mm -hmm. Remember as we were leaving. That cre one of those creatures said, thanks for opening business and all that. I remember. I think somewhere along the lines, they took over, and now they're kind of the leading people. <clears throat> he's, God, the, he's the mayor or something. He's the lord over this town now. I hope not. Uh, apparently that's the case. He's the lord of this town. Well, we I and I look over to my father and I 
motion towards Garrett, and I say, that is Garrett. He's part of the city guard, the town guard. From where we from? And I reach over, and I point towards Volmir, and I say, that is Volmir. She comes from the forest off to the east. And I point looks, down. And, your dad looks at her and says, Milady, we are so very, very honored to have one of you here. Hmm. And I uh, point down at uh, Baldor and I say, We found him. I don't know where he's from. He's from all the different lands we visited. He's from a different land entirely. <laughs> His name is Waldor. I think he might have found us. We didn't find him. Yeah. Hmm. He, he uh, looks at Waldor and says, Are you thirsty? Are you hungry? And Waldor says, uh, No, I, I'm fine, thanks. So, I guess if you insist on having this <clears throat> conversation now, I you would. I think it's best if we explain things now rather than later. Me if I do not let your mother's cooking go to waste, I'd be willing to eat. I agree. I'll give you some food as long as it's not out. And what of your friends? Derek, come sit down and eat with us. We're, we'll be fine for now. I'll sit down. Okay, so a couple other uh, chairs are provided. Um, the um, So you all are sitting around. Everyone is now sitting around this table. It's a basic kind of square, rectangle table and very sturdy, made of wood, and uh, wooden plates and cups are brought out, and your mom uh, noticeably, uh, her mood lightens as she begins to turn into Susie Homemaker and puts out handkerchiefs and... Uh, <laughs> plates and everything and then she um, says okay now in this stew <clears throat> it's almost as if we knew that you were going to be here because your father um, paid a little bit extra for some uh, a, a side of beef and what we took out of the root cellar uh, not, you know, some of it I've added it to the stew, and it's made a very <clears throat> rich and uh, tasty meal. So, here you go, and she gives all of you a, a bowl and a wooden spoon. Thank you, Mom. And and I, the, uh, the dad says, now would any of you care for any of this uh, drink, or would you rather just have the weak beer from old Larry down the street? Weak for beer. now, the Me? weak beer, please. Okay, so he goes and. Uh, I hope you understand that we are still on edge. Pour, pour some and gives each of you some of the weak beer out of this little cask. <clears throat> so Larry, Larry uh, drives a hard bargain, but he's usually good for this, and he. Uh, says, Mother, come sit down. And she's like, I'm almost done. And she uh, brings over bread and breaks it and puts it in front of all of you. And then she says, well, it's been so long since... And she sits down between you two. And, like, she's on one side of the table and the dad's on the other. And you guys are kind of flanking your mom. And she says, it's been so long since I've had my boys here. And she... Puts her hand out on both of your hands. Do you let her? 
we, yeah, I, I let her. She says, um, we're so grateful to Forsooth for bringing us together. And we, we really, really, you jerk your hand out. <laughs> and she's, she kind of gives you the look like that and is like. Wait, wait, what? Hold on. I'm like, wait a second. Forsooth? It's still here. What do you mean by still here? Well, yeah, what do you mean by still here? He's... Oh, God. Well, not, he's not been here yet. Everything else seems to overlap areas when we go. Why not versus? So oh, he's still alive. God. Yeah, yeah we knew he was still alive, but I didn't realize he was still here. I have a question, Mother. She, she, he is going to be pissed with us. Dad's like, now, now, boys. We, we know we, we, though we may not be the most religious family, we should show respect to our mother and her faith, don't you think? He's going to be pissed with us. I have a question, Mother. Boys, don't you think? I put my hand back out. Never mind. So she continues on. For bringing our boys back to us after their disappearance into the big city. And for their new friends, Garrett, Valmir, and Waldor, we thank Forsooth the Many Tentacled. And may his blessings ring. You're uh, going to start hitting the hard stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you kind of look over at the dad, and you look like this, and he's like, all right, and he kind of hits you on the back, and he gets up, and he goes and grabs a, one of those big uh, jugs, you know, doop, boo, boo, and he doop, 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 ah. sets it down in front of you, and he looks at you, and he goes, cheers, Garrett, and takes his, <laughs> clink, and it doesn't go clean, it goes clunk, because it's wood. <laughs> And he says, don't drink it too fast. And he drinks it and... Uh, yeah. Uh, like, poor Suth is going to be pissed with us. So, uh, she's like... I'll grin. And then proceeds to start eating. And then she looks So... Up, she says, so I... Tell me how, uh, tell me how you met Volmir. We met at the festival that was held from where we're from. Okay. <laughs> Just like that? Let me, let me explain again. We're not from here. And I know it's difficult, but under the disciplines, the ways that we can travel, there is ways to go from one time to another, right? Do you guys understand that? You know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, just similar to that, we can go... So we were on one time, and then like, somehow we just kind of split the, uh, off of the I original. need to pee. Uh, I excuse myself to go pee. Simple enough. Let me know when I'm okay. And I want to do something. Come to me whenever. <laughs> so how long have we been gone? Oh my gosh. Three days? I wish. Right. <clears throat> Are you uh, anxious to go back to the front, Garrett? Says their dad. After what I've seen, the front is easy. Well. Um, Garrett, we're a lot more powerful than we used to be. You know that, right? We're still no match for the dragon. No. Uh, I've heard this uh, mention of a dragon. What? Um, what is that? Some powerful new uh, 
discipline that you supposedly no. covered? Or? No, it's the no. same for house and it's black. <sighs> Put it to you this way. You know the, you know the, why don't I just show you? All right. Why don't I just show you? Okay. Hang on a sec. And I stand up from the table and I kind of back off, get into a clear spot where I have a little bit of room, and I begin to focus mentally. And I begin to uh, prepare myself as I go to cast Metamorphosis. Five bucks says mom says how cute. Okay. Right. So pause there. So zero, you uh, head outside to go to the outhouse. <laughs> And it's about uh, 20 yards away from the back of the house, pretty pretty close to the shed. This all looks vaguely familiar. This all kind of looks the same. I, I get in the shed. I pull off the book. Okay. Where does it show the next item to be approximately? Like, what, what am I getting on the map? This is where we're from. I should somewhat be familiar with uh, the areas, <clears throat> like what directions it appear to be in, like towards what in our in our land. Um, it shows you uh, your where you kind of are in the at the top of the page. All right. And then <clears throat> the uh, the mark starts to slowly drop no that's the wrong word the um, there's like a a path that goes through what looks like forest unnamed to the bottom of the page and then there's that weird next symbol of the <clears throat> sharpened teeth holding a dagger Okay. <clears throat> I can't get any idea of the distance based on the look like it's on the other side of the forest. That I, I mean, I can know where the forest is. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Does, do I get any kind of idea about how far away it might be based on the what it shows on the map of the area that similar to where we're from? Um, anywhere between like four and eight days, maybe. Okay. I put it. I put it back away. <clears throat> I didn't really have to go. I just went out there to look at the map. Yeah. So I, I put it away, and then I come back in. Okay. <clears throat> so I and you are getting ready to do a pop. Yes. Um. So you guys don't hear any kind of echo. No. Hmm. I hear a background, something or another, probably, probably Chris's TV in the background, I guess. I don't know. All right. I just, I don't know why it would have shown up on the other recording, so it's just kind of weird. When they're done, I've got a question. So, I begin to transform in, and my, I picked the dragon, but my size <laughs> is what I'm aiming, you know what I mean? Okay. So I envision the black dragon and I feel my body start to try and move and in, uh, shift into it. I rolled a 9, which is well within my power score. And so over the course of five rounds of prep, I, I go into all fours, wings spread out my back, I turn black, scaly, and I turn into the dragon. Okay. Uh, what is the reaction? <laughs> comes in and he sees this uh, form in the room. The same thing I've done before, because it's a small version, right? Yeah. A quick, a quick, right, it's the same thing I did. And I look a quick look around, I don't see my brother, correct? Correct. What's the reaction of my parents? Okay. Um, your parents are watching you and they're like, 
Okay, we're waiting. <laughs> and I, I, after a little bit, um, okay, so, user gains all physical attacks that the form allows, but no magical or special abilities, so I cannot breathe, so breath weapon is out of line. Correct. Okay. Um, and I, so after a hot second, I end it. And when I come back, I say, it's that thing, but it's like as big as a castle. I shake my head up now and go, yep. Do you need to make hey. kind of a system shock roll on that power? Uh, yeah, that power? yeah, I do. Let me do that real quick. All right, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> the only way I fail is if I get 100%. So you I did roll a 99. You transform back into your original shape. Mm -hmm. and they're watching and they're like, I don't, under I don't understand. What were we supposed to what, what I was just showing you what it looked like. I was just what showing you, you what it looked like. What did you see? Yeah. I saw him... Like standing there, you didn't see him transform into a large lizard looking creature. No, he did. What somehow you're not seeing it? I don't know why. You're scaring your mother. Stop. He was just changing into it to show you what it looked like. I'm surprised you couldn't see it. That doesn't make sense. That makes sense. No sense. Okay, I'm not sure what that was, but can we at least finish dinner? Sure. Can I reach out to skin here, sir? What? Okay. Parents? You mean mentally, Garrett? Yes. Yeah? I, I mean, I assume you can. We'll see. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Chris. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Gary. I'm going to reach out mentally and ask, is it possible that he's still alive? Skin piercer replies, anything is possible. If the Are right witches are still alive, then forsooth could still be alive. If you're still alive, then forsooth could be alive. So we'll find him on every point of existence that we go to. Well, we never killed him in the last one. We never killed him. We just... Hold on. He's having a conversation. With yeah, I know. Sentient... Death oh, machine. that's right. Sorry. Oh, look. Hi. <laughs> you saw mine earlier. I did. This cat hates this. I'm hoping <laughs> he'll get mad and run off. Are you going to stay or go? Not mad enough. Okay, so... Uh... Skin Piercer says, why don't we kill him? I thought you, well, my reply is, I tried, but you can't help. No, why don't we kill these, these, <laughs> these two other people in the room, and then we'll kill the White Witch. <laughs> or would you rather kill the White Witch first? I would break be able to kill the dragon before anything else. Just think how tasty that would be. Well, apparently, <clears throat> well, that the whatever that is, it's not here right now. But those two and Valmir and Waldor are here. Come on. 
Let's let's have some fun. <laughs> <sighs> Come on. I just want to make it through dinner. <laughs> All right, fine. <coughs> <laughs> and you can sense a dejected spear. So, uh, Joe says, so, uh, Zero, uh, what are your plans after... The uh, growing season's over. Do you have you considered any more about our uh, possible uh, arrangement to have you go study at the Zentarum? Yes, Father. I think that's a good idea. I I can't wait till that time comes. Hmm, excellent. You seem like. You weren't sure that you were cut out for such a thing before, but... A lot has changed recently. Huh? A lot has changed recently. Hmm. Those three days, it seems like an adventure of a lifetime, and I'm ready for the next challenge, Father. Wow. I'm tired. Mother, Father, would you excuse me? I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. Of course. I'm I'm not feeling it. I give Dad a hug and I go to my room. I reach over and I'm, I grab a cup of the uh, ale or whatever, not the weak beer, the actual what he handed us originally. Okay. I go over, I grab a cup and I down it, just completely down it. And the dad's like, "Whoa, boy, you, uh, you've really uh, that's not that's not like you, I what's." What's, uh... I down it. I set it down, and I'm like, something's wrong. I'm not feeling it. I I need to go to bed. Okay, very good. Something's I I don't know. I think I'm I might have hit my head. I don't know. I well, everything's a little fuzzy. Your your all's room's pretty much as you left it. So. <laughs> And I walk off after my brother okay. and to the room. Leaving Garrett, Volmir, and Waldor. And Waldor's like, well, um, I can sleep anywhere. So uh, the uh, Joe and Anna, they look at Volmir and Garrett and they say, are, uh, are any of uh, you all... Would you like to stay and, oh, you want some more, huh? Good man. He goes and gets the hard stuff and whoop, pops that cork out again and fills your wooden mug with this hard liquor. And uh, Volmer says, you know what? I am kind of tired. I was grabbed by tentacles. And they say, well... <laughs> You, um... I kind of had the same kind of rough day. I was grabbed by the testicles. <laughs> uh, are you two, uh... Are you two together? Uh, no. We're just friends. No? Okay. Well, um... We, we only have, uh... One other bed, and that's upstairs, so... If you two want to share that... And we'll uh, we'll make do with what we have down here. Is that okay? Volmer can have the bed, or y'all can have the bed. I'll make the bed right here up on the floor. Okay. And uh, the dad looks at, Joe looks at Anna and says, Mother, that was wonderful. Thank you. And he kisses her, and she's like, oh, I'm just so happy having all my boys here. And she says, well, I'm going to clean up, dear, if you want to make us a pallet to sleep on. So he looks up, and he says, Garrett, I'm sure you can find your way to making yourself comfortable. You look like you're a man about that knows his way around. Volmir, let me show you to the bed upstairs. So, 
she follows him and goes up the steps and I'm gonna tell Walter to go up there and make a bed on the floor in the same room. Protect her. Okay. So he does that. So the uh, you and the dad are down in the room and the mom's like, Okay, uh I'm gonna go outside and make sure everything's okay with the animals and he she leaves. Um, I'll go outside and make a walk around too real quick. Okay. Um Nothing really seems like it's, um, I don't know, out of place. You're just not as familiar with this area. Well, so, this, th this house is kind of closer to in town, correct? Yeah. Do I see lights coming from the other buildings? Yeah. They're, um... <clears throat> Make me a perception check. No. Uh, 17 total. So, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, as you look further down the street, you notice that there appears to be a... Um, the homes get a little bit more dense and close together and larger. And... Um, until you you know you can't really see that far anymore the there's not a lot of uh ambient light it seems like uh it got to be nighttime just like that okay how, uh, how far do you uh, wander away from the house oh i'm just walk i'm gonna walk the perimeter of the home Okay, well, they've got a, a, a wooden fence in the backyard, and there's animals that are back there, and there's a, a shed that they've, like, you can see the mom putting the, making sure all the chickens are in there and closing it up, and then there's a, a dog that seems to just kind of follow her around. It doesn't bark or do anything. It's just kind of like a short haired, kind of an old looking dog. Um, and then uh, you can see that she appears to be finished. Um, she's got like a light or like a lantern that she's carrying in front of her so she can see what she's doing. And uh, at some point she finishes up and she notices you outside and she says, well, I guess everything's good for tonight. Uh, I'm satisfied. I'm, thing. I'm ready to go back in. Okay. So you go back inside and after you get back in, you hear a sound. You notice that she's barred the door from the inside and she, uh, she looks over and she's, she says, oh, honey, that'll work just fine. He's like, it'll be like when we were young, dear. And can, can I ask you all a question? Why, sure. Are there things that float around in the sky that make noise? <laughs> Shoot off smoke. Uh, well, no. I mean, I mean... I mean, what you're kind of sounds to me like you're describing is a some kind of siege engine from the front or something. I, I, is that what you mean? But it doesn't float in the sky. No. Okay. And this this one, this one sounds weird. And you notice they kind of look at each other when you when you say that. And, when people okay. pass on to the other side. Where do they go? I'm sorry, can you say that again? When people pass on to the other side, where are their bodies? Where did they go? The, the wife says, well, if, if, they're, if they've lived according to the laws of forsooth and they've given themselves over to his teachings, then... 
they go to his golden palace on the hill, and if they've rejected the teachings of Forsooth and and decided to um, ignore his teachings, then I assume they just go away and they just don't exist. So they don't walk around and help things out and do different chores? <laughs> I, no, no. Okay, thank you. And with that, I'm going to roll over and pull the cover over my head. <laughs> okay. Uh, I would like you to make me a perception check. <laughs> um, <laughs> 37. Okay. Nice. Um, you um, occasionally you um, hear some whispers coming from the other side of the room, but it's hard to make out what they're saying. But after a while, um, the uh, noises from the outside and Everything seems to settle down. Um, in the uh, bedroom of the uh, brothers, is there anything going on in there that I need to be aware of? Or do you guys yeah, know what I talk about? Yeah. yeah. Go to sleep? Or? I would like to have a conversation. It's best we just let them think whatever and do what we need to do and move on. Yeah. I, I don't know where we're at. Uh, weird shit happening here, too. We just need to move on. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we need Take to spend some time. Us, but don't let on that we're here to do certain things. I know. Want, I do need to further my studies. We might be, that's uh, the only time I need. We might be making our difficult our, our uh, mission here more difficult. I found the uh, item we need to get. It's about an eight day uh, travel. I need to further my studies here. We agreed upon this last time. What do you mean, further? Remember, uh, Mike, the conversation I had about needing to spend some time. I need to do it. What? How much time? The amount I agreed upon, we said, which was six months. I don't remember agreeing to it. I remember you talking about wanting to do it, and I said, how the hell is that going to happen? The same way it did last time. We just freaking deal with it. Who knows? Maybe we we straighten things out between these people and the Lord, and we try and get in some good graces in the meantime. The first months enough time. He told me it was a year. No, I did not say a year. I said six months, give or take. A couple weeks. We'll need to discuss it away from the house tomorrow with the others. I don't think it would be an issue. These people clearly understand our abilities and have some. I don't know why they couldn't see my see it, but this could be a decent spot if we just play along. We have Versus Weapons, his creations. In a land where he's in charge, and we made a fair and we made a fair trade. Our our parents uh, look up to him. I think six months asking for nothing but six months of trouble. Personally. Same as it was last time. I really don't see how it's going to be that much of a difference. It's always trouble. And this will help out the group. We'll discuss it with everybody tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. we will. We've all got to be on the same page. Outside of that, I have no idea how, where we are at. Well, I understand. The, the other I, I know where we're at. I, I understand how the lines connect, but
but it's really not good. Yeah, you ready for the bigger problem that we gotta deal with? What? They sent uh, us away three days ago to go to town to get supplies. So we're never we're gonna be back soon. Then what? <laughs> we deal with it? Who knows? Maybe they're not there. The other us isn't actually real or isn't here. We don't know if that's the case or not. If it is, then we have a pretty good argument to explain what's going on. And if it isn't... Our argument ain't done shit so far. It's like they don't want to believe, so I don't see it. They don't, because they don't understand. Just like nobody else has understood. Nobody else has understood. These people won't, so I agree. We play along. If we, in this timeline, whatever, show up, then we explain. I don't see why they would have an issue with it. After all, they are our parents, and I <laughs> look at you just like this. Freaking invisible halo above and all. He looks really cute in the candlelight, too. Apparently, these powers are something that everybody has here, or at least numerous people have. It doesn't seem to be. Yeah, a secret, but so. they may not be actual the same stuff, considering they couldn't see it. I don't know. I don't know how that works. For all we know, these people are just a creation of the two. Yeah, even... it's possible. It's highly possible. And if they are, then we deal with it. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we'll I don't know if Truth is actually here. We'll discuss with the group tomorrow. I don't know if the Truth is actually here. I'll look into it. See what I can see, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I can do the same. Well, at least that construct, because it wasn't actually him. It was a... There was a, some sort of thing that he was controlling. He wasn't actually there. You know, just kind of like those Ganymedes inside that suit of armor at the house where we were attacked. He, But he wasn't inside. He was somehow controlling it away from, away from it. I think there were people in that suit. I think he blew up that suit and killed those enemies. Personally. Not the Ganymede, it's the, um, when we fought for Sooth. He was somehow controlling that suit. Oh, from yeah. away. You know, I'm just, yeah, I was just saying it's, they were similar things, I'm guessing. It's but possible. He was somehow controlling his away without mm -hmm. actually having to be inside. We'll just Out of case. Him. Yeah, some... let's go to bed. We don't let these people know anything else that we know. Not until it becomes a problem, I agree. Then we leave. Hmm. We may not have to. This is a quote-unquote safe place. I disagree. I think it's the worst place we've been. Potentially. No, I'm saying this building. This house. It's not even in the same spot. <laughs> I know. That's why I didn't say our house. I said this house. All right. Good night. Good night. And I roll over and fall asleep. All right. Sounds good. Um, a night. I need all of you. To make, to make intelligence checks. I get up and I'm sorry, what was that, Cobb? Intelligence checks, please. He said make Cobb, I to do something else after. I got Three edge. D22 of that. You're just trying to get a total of 21 or more. Okay, got 30. 20. 24. 28. 
Okay. And zero. Twenty-four. No. Uh, what? Uh, what is it that you were? I want to get up. Do I have a problem getting up? I'm not really. Your legs work. I'm going to go in the other room. I'm looking for Garrett. Okay. Uh, you see uh, people uh, apparently sleeping. Do I see Garrett? Yeah. I gently nudge him. So he is with my face in front of him. So if he sees me when he opens his eyes, try to wake him up. Yeah. Here. You wake Gen him up. Yeah. yeah. Garrett, uh, uh, quietly, come outside with me, will you please? I want to talk to you. Okay. okay. Our, our cop. Is there like a, a kitchen or something else off of this room? Like somewhere else we go without having to go outside? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's got a, the, the, the bottom floor is open and there's stairs that go up to a top floor that's open. So. Okay. Open concept. We go outside. Is it still misty, or is the, sun, is the moon out, or what? Uh, you, as you look around, you don't feel any uh, mist anymore. Everything's just a little bit like wet and soggy. Um, kind of that fresh rain scent. There, uh, there doesn't appear to be any kind of moon in the sky. There might be though, if it's overcast. You're not sure. <coughs> <clears throat> Garrett. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. <clears throat> you can tell this is where we're from, right? Oh, yeah. Here's the good news. Yeah. The dead doesn't walk around and ships don't fly in the air. Well, I think it's worse. <laughs> oh, it could be. Well, for certain things, it's worse. Right. And everybody uh, looks up to him. So, um, tomorrow my brother wants to have a talk with everybody. He wants to stay here for six months and do some seeing, which I understand. I don't, we can't stay right here. My, the, their actual sons. And Cobb, I'm saying this very quietly, okay? I'm just not going to whisper it over that moment. That's fine. <clears throat> Their actual sons, three days ago, were sent uh, to the big city for supplies. They're due back. They're going to be back. I don't know how the hell you're going to explain that. Uh, I don't know how we're going to explain that. I, I mean, we explained it, but they don't seem to get it. Well, I'm thinking if the real sons show back up and now there's two of you and two of mine it's going to get rather confusing well you see it's it's the problem of it's almost like they don't want to believe us they don't understand but they should understand to some degree when he changed into that dragon i walked in i seen the dragon they didn't see that i saw the dragon they apparently didn't see this so there's something else going on here. We have several items that belong to Pursuit that, that he created, and now we're in an area that he controls rather liberally, apparently. I just think this is a bad place to stay or be. I think anything else we talk to my parents would be, or anybody else in this area would be um, uh, hurting our chances of getting further. I looked in the book and I know where the item is. It's eight days for a walk. That's what I was going to ask. Yes. Uh, now, I want to give my brother the time to do it. I just don't think here's the right time or the place. There's too many unanswered. Uh, uh, there's too many things here that are not correct. Something's going <laughs> to 
going to be right. <laughs> where, where have we been so far that it has been correct? I just, I agree, but... Look at the first place we're at. Women ran everything and men were just dogs. Are you okay with staying here for six months in this village? In this village? I don't want to stay anywhere for six months. I agree, but... I think this, I, I don't know where we would stay where we'd be safe, to be honest with you. The thing that concerns me, well, two things. For Sooth here, and also that creature yesterday here. Yeah, who created that creature back where the last place we came from? If one of them's here, a hunter could be here. Right. By the way, I think I hit that thing with the new bow. Real. Uh, I feel like I did, and it looked like I did, but you didn't see anything actually happen. So, have you talked to your weapon? It hasn't talked to me yet, but it, it, it's more of a feeling that I get. It's not a, a conversation. I don't know. It's still pretty early on, in my opinion, of this weapon and me and learning it, but well, I, 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 I'm pretty sure it worked. I'm pretty sure it hit the creature, and that's when the creature took off behind the building. Okay. But I can't tell you anything else. Um, the only advice I can give you is know the weapon. I'm open trying. Your, open yourself up to it. It will open yourself itself up to you. I'm trying. Did yours do that immediately? It was... Within the first couple of days, that's okay. what I learned that the we're coming. Coming. This is the first day, still, so, I mean, hopefully, I mean, we'll see. I'm all for understanding and communicating with it because I don't fully understand it or what it can do, but. Yeah, I learned within the first couple of days that just sticking out my hand and thinking of it, it would come to me. Cool. Well, tomorrow we need to have a discussion and decide what we're going to do. Because I don't think staying here is safe. I think leaving here sooner the better. We're going to hold up somewhere. We need to hold up somewhere on our terms, not on unknown terms. And I think that's what we've got. Well, here's the other thing that nobody's talked about yet. Where's Basula? Who the hell knows? And how long until Volmir gets upset and wants him back? And the biggest thing that we need to worry about with her is, when's that baby coming? It's got to be soon. <laughs> you know what I mean. If it pops out tomorrow, we're going to be here for six months. Why? Think she can tote that thing around? I don't know why she's walking around pregnant with I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I, I really don't. The other thing I'd say, we're, we're, we're close. I think I hope so. <clears throat> I think so. We can't afford her to take a walk about again and be gone for nine months. <sighs> well, let's not even bring up the, uh, uh, a boyfriend, whatever. Maybe uh, we don't bring it up. She won't bring it up, and she won't miss him and look for him. Or maybe she asks. We say, "No, he ain't here." <laughs> Well, and she hasn't brought him up yet. Well, this ain't the same place that we left. This isn't even remotely the same place that we left. This no, is similar to where we're from, but similar. You know, that's that's the issue. You know. We'll find out soon. We get get some supplies. We'll find out what currency they use. What's going on? Because you know it's going to be different. Yeah, it very likely could be. You know, if my parents have it, others are going to have this power, too. It was a secret where we were from. It ain't here, apparently. 
There's apparently a college that teaches it and all kinds of other stuff. Really? Well, that's what my father was saying. He wants me to go to the school and learn, like, further my studies here. I'm just playing along at this point. I'm not going to fight it. It ain't, it ain't worth it. They're not going to grasp it. They don't understand it. It's just becoming a problem, and it's going to cause problems. So I think we need to leave here. I don't care what story we give. Let them deal with whatever with our kids that when their kids actually get back. And I don't know. I need some sun. I'll tell you that much. I need some sun. Yes, yeah, the sun out today. DM. Not yet. It's nighttime. Oh, it's still nighttime. Yeah, I've come to talk to you in the middle of the night. Oh, okay. That's why I woke you up. It was dark out. We're outside. It's black. Okay, I'm I'm done. Unless you had anything else you want to say, I just wanted to. No. Something with my brother, he wants to stay here. He thinks it's safe. He thinks it's the safest place. I think this is probably the worst place to be. I think so also. We we come 200 yards into a town. We can't determine this is the safe place. Well, based on what I heard, I I would I, mean, I don't feel safe here. If you look where we just came from, just right outside of town, there's two giants we fought, <laughs> and this creature. This is the safe place. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. All right, buddy. You go back to sleep. I'm gonna go back to sleep too. Okay. Cobb, when I go back in my room, I'm gonna bar the door. I'm going to cast a couple healing spells on myself, and then I'm going to go back to bed. Proceed. I'm looking them up. You don't have to wait for me for anything. I'm just looking for some spells. I guess so, just what it is. Yeah, I ain't going to get too much of this. Okay. Successful on the first. In my second. So I'm going to get a little 10 points back. I'm out of power. I'm going to bed. Okay. So, after um, another crazy day, <laughs> meeting people that you already know, fighting creatures that you've already fought, in a town that you grew up in but didn't, <laughs> we will end our session for the night. I hope yeah, it's after noon, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like quarter after nine, I think. And I didn't even realize. I, uh, yeah. But, um, hopefully, uh, the, uh, putting the camera down closer was helpful. The angle shot was a lot better. So, it was like a table. We could see everything at that angle. We could still see the grid, but it did a lot more for seeing, you know, the, the actual figurine shapes. That's why I bought the, the tiny little tripod there. All right. Uh, any parting shots from anybody? Yeah. Thanks for doing this stuff more often during the week. Give us something more to do. Yeah, same. Nothing else. For sure. Yeah. yeah, I again, I can't promise I'll always be available, but when I am, I'll try. Well, I think right now we're looking at Thursday night, right, for our next one? Yeah, I'm Correct. good for it. Correct. 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 All right. Um, I will uh, 
adjust some character sheets when I get a chance. I can email a version to you, not necessarily that for the program, but it'll you'll have to print it out on your end. Do you all have access to printers? Are you saying we're going up a level? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I want to take them. Yeah, I actually don't quite know what I want, which is surprising. I know. <laughs> We get one devotion, by the way, Sean. Randy, we are also... To, are you able to print out something if I email it to you? Yes. Okay. Randy, guess what you get? In HTML, we can always print that out. You get your uh, final sword thing, or your spear. Oh, I do? Yeah, level 12. You have a weapon proficiency that you just attained, and a non-weapon. Uh, we also attain a non-weapon proficiency, Sean. Um, herbalism. I've been saving. Um, so yeah, Randy, you have a non-weapon and a weapon, but you already know what you're using your weapon for. We don't get a weapon, do we? No, not till fifteen. <laughs> So to, we're probably not going to get it. Take, you probably need to take dagger. <laughs> right. If I could trade in one, mine, I would, but yeah. I'll deal with it. Um, let me see. What else do we get? This can't make up. This cat can't make up its mind. They never can, Cobb. They love never me, can. Love me. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody ever hear from Dan? What's going on? No. Nothing. I got him attacked off. I asked him if he was going to join us, but he never got a reply. That's all right. Hope we're doing all right. All righty then. I'm going to uh, sign off. Thank you. All righty then. Good night and have a pleasant tomorrow. I'll send you uh, send you a text with my choices for my character. Yeah, That's same. It. I'll send stuff for you. Right. Not for tomorrow, but I'll send it. All right. Bye. See you, Randy. Bye, Peace. Chris.